Don't let your AC system get knocked down by the heat this upcoming summer. Call KS Services and let our team come take a look. We repair and install all makes and models. We even offer a free no-hassle quote and second opinion, so give us a call today. With our flexible financing, you can literally pick your payment. We may even be able to help you knock down that utility bill a bit. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Thursday, the 1st of March. This is the beginning of meteorological spring and the beginning of the spring tornado season. It will be wet at times today, but we don't expect any severe weather. And cooler, drier air arrives tomorrow. Let's dive in and talk about it. Upper air look, got a trough approaching from the west. That'll set up a number of showers and thunderstorms across the state today. That's the radar early this morning at 4.53. Widespread rain across northwest Alabama and north Mississippi. That big rain mass is dropping south and east, and we'll deal with that today. A very mild morning. Temperatures are mostly in the upper 60s, but notice the shoals at 59. And I do think that we could see falling temperatures this afternoon. We'll be around 70 this morning and then falling through the 50s this afternoon once the front passes through. Noticeably colder north and west of the state. And by golly, we'll probably see some frost on the ground here by Saturday and Sunday morning for many spots. Colder pockets will see a freeze. Here's the watch warning map. First off, in the uh, what northwestern states, a number of winter storm warnings in effect there. And in the northeast, we're starting to see some winter storm warnings go up for what should be a major storm off the upper Atlantic coast tomorrow. We'll talk about that in a minute. Close to home, we got a flood watch still in effect for the Tennessee Valley of North Alabama and a wind advisory for the central counties of the state as winds will pick up behind that front this afternoon and tonight. But the good news, no severe weather expected today. That marginal risk has been taken out for today. There could be some thunder. Precipitation for the next seven days, big numbers out west for the uh, Sierra Nevadas of California and up in the northeastern states with that big coastal storm. And around here, the rain amounts about one inch for the northern third of the state, under one inch for the central and south Alabama. So, model fans, let's take it day by day. This is today at noon, the 06 GFS, big trough in the Pacific Northwest, a short wave passing north of the state. Down below that, a deep surface low is southwest of Cleveland with a trailing front. And we'll see rain and thunderstorms today. And again, I think we'll probably touch 70 maybe this morning, but then we fall into the 50s this afternoon as the cool air begins to work in. And north wind will be picking up as a fairly tight gradient sets up. That's the reason for the wind advisory. Tomorrow will be a mostly sunny, breezy, and cool day with a high around 60 for us. And wow. Here's that northeastern storm, 981 millibar low just southeast of Cape Cod. Big snows for the interior sections of New York and Pennsylvania and a lot of wind and a lot of rain on the coast. And that could create enough wind to bring down some trees and power lines. So pretty nasty day for the northeastern states tomorrow. Saturday, how about a dry weekend? We start the day between 32 and 35 in most places. Colder pockets will see a freeze. Many spots will see frost. But the day will be sunny. The high should be in the low 60s. And Sunday, same deal. We start the day well down in the 30s. We could see some frost. And then the high Sunday in the mid-60s, the sky bright and sunny. So no rain this weekend, nothing but severe clear. Monday, here comes our next cold front. Surface low is over southwest Iowa. Big snows up north, and we'll probably see rain creeping in here by maybe Monday afternoon or Monday evening. Monday night at midnight, the cold front coming through. Probably no severe weather with a surface low to the north. We'll always watch it. And then Tuesday of next week, we are cooler and drier as we get into a dry slot. Wednesday, it's pretty good cold air advection coming in here. Again, another surface low is just east of... Uh, uh, the Delaware coast will be in the uh, mid-50s. In fact, look at the anomalies on Wednesday. Temperatures pretty far below average. Uh, so uh, the low Wednesday morning could be around freezing, the high in the 50s. And this is a week from today, big trough in the east. And again, that's a very chilly look. The, the, the uh, deterministic GFS is printing a low of 30 for Birmingham and a high of 54 on Thursday. 
the ensemble not that cold, but I think there's a really good chance we're going to see freezing mornings next week, maybe uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and even possibly Friday. This is the end of the forecast period. This is Saturday, March 10th. That's a pretty impressive trough digging through here. Got a deep surface low near Knoxville, Tennessee. That looks wet. And there's some instability involved here, so just something to keep an eye on. And again, these are the numbers coming off the ensemble, and you can see a number of mornings will be well down in the 30s, but again, I fully believe on some mornings it will be colder than that. And I think uh, toward the end of next week, we'll probably see the chance of a freeze by Wednesday, Thursday, and maybe even a Friday morning. Have a number of mornings with sub-freezing temperatures to go here. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Summer's just around the corner and KS Services wants to be the team ensuring your comfort. We repair and install all makes and models. So give us a call today to get a free, no-hassle second opinion. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.